um, about um, the coffee break and how women invented the coffee break and, and the invention of um, people using coffee literally were, like helped capitalism. Because before coffee, you had to work long and you didn't have the energy. Your energy would run out. So what happened was... Um, so World War II happened. All the men went off to war. And it's, there's this... So let me, let, me, let me backtrack. There's this Thai company called Wigwam Ties. And um, they... All the men that were making the ties went to World War Two, and obviously in World War Two, we know that all the women started going to work after that, right? Yeah. Because men were dying and coming back and decapitated and whatnot, right? So they hired all the older guys, but the older guys couldn't make the ties effective enough, <laughs> right? So they said, oh, "Okay, we need some new workers." They hired women, but the women couldn't work long hours. They would have to work four or five hours, and they would be too tired, or the the productivity and the the standard would dip. Yeah. So they said, so they got all the women in the meeting and said, "Yo, listen, listen, how can we increase your productivity?" And they said, "Give us a coffee break." And they said, okay, we'll give you a coffee break. So four, you work four or five hours, drink some coffee, get the energy, come back and work another four or five hours. And that's how coffee break was invented or breaks in general. So it, it helped. So if capitalism. women did not say that yet, we break. will be working, <laughs> working eight, eight four, hours ten straight. Four. Why? Because I'm four. a man and I don't need rest. <laughs> yeah. Nah. <laughs> See, in this life, have money. <laughs> have money, bro. <laughs> because, because, nah, uh, that's mad, you know. I what, did not come and kill myself. Though. That's Very, crazy. I was like, wow, that's so mad. It's one of those things like, look, listen, take, break, but if, that's a system. It's a system. system thing. Yeah. Oh, you need a break. Okay, and then go back in because that's a system that works. So make a system. I shoot video on this day. I write the content throughout the whole week. I'm. All, I've got. I've got like twenty five posts to already because I've just. Ri- oh, get okay, idea. Write in my notes. Tuesday, boom, and I'm gonna do all this work and then I have Amazing. all this content. I've got content that I don't even. I, I don't even know when I'm putting it out because there's a queue of content and that's how it should be. But if you have a system, you will never get tired. Because it's a system. If it's reactive, then it's unfortunate because there is no system. You just have to wake up one day, see what's happening, and decide how quickly you can get it out. Do, it. Mm-hmm. do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That's that's like 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 you know, if, if you're a reporter and they call you to go Gaza tomorrow, <laughs> it's reactive. Or if you're mm-hmm. a doctor, right, you're sleeping, and someone calls you because they need heart surgery, it's reactive. Do you know what I mean? So what you want to do is just create proactive content. All right, guys, wait, 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 hold up. So we looked at the analytics and apparently 25% of you who watch this podcast are not subscribed. Now, that doesn't make sense because if you're watching this podcast, then you clearly like it and you clearly want more. So the best way to get more is to subscribe. And guess what? Even do another thing, subscribe. Hit that little bell button and put the notifications on. So when we post this exquisite content, right, you'll get it directly in your notifications. So subscribe right now. Thank you.